Alright guys, it's Dr. Bo here, bringing you another plugin demonstration. Um, a little excited about this one, I'm going to be showcasing a revamped version of my Compassionate plugin, which I made a good two months ago when I first started developing Bucket plugins. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to see the uh, improvements, if you ever decide to sort of cross-reference them, but let's uh, go ahead and go in-game. I'm dead, pay no attention to that. Go ahead and reload the server here. Alright, so... If it, I'll go ahead and start with the basic description. Compassionate is a plugin that is designed to completely like overhaul the compass in every way you can possibly imagine. Whether it's adding waypoints that you can then go back to, similar to Zan's minimap, or tracking players or mobs, or whatever you suggest, which I could probably add. I wanted to make the compass more versatile since it kind of sucked. I mean, can you? Th you really can't think of a server that you go on where the uh, the spawns aren't altered to the point where the compass is just useless. It doesn't point you back to where you needed to be, and it's just well, it's not worth the iron that it makes to that it takes to make it. So, uh, if you remember the old compassionate, I'm gonna start off by sort of going through the old compassionate rules. You'll, uh, if you do remember it, you'll. Sorry, it's so early for me right now, and. I spent a long time coding this shit, and I'm very tired. Anyways, um, remember that if you don't have a compass in your hand, you can't do anything. Well, that's no longer true for the new Compassionate, because I have included a much different command interface, which you can see right here. It's much better than the one uh, offered in my first version, uh, with plenty of things to do, but we're going to talk about the waypoint stuff later. Let's go ahead and go through. Now, you'll remember that if you right-click with the compass in your hand, that is how you cycle through the nodes, or through the compass modes, and you have node tracker, which is waypoint tracker, you have player tracker, and monster tracker. Now, player tracker and monster tracker are more or less the same, but I have added a few new features to make them much more convenient, so let's go ahead and show those off. Alright, so with the monster tracker, what you want to do is left-click, and it will track mobs near you. So let's go ahead and see. Now, it's tracking this pig right now. And the first compassionate, you would have to manually update the pig's location as you went along. But in this version, the newest version, it will actually auto-update the pig, pig's location every 30 some odd sec, or not 30, every five seconds. Let's see if the, if I could get the pig to move a little. There we go. Now if you'll wait for it, it should update. There you go. Now if I wanted to kill him, diamond sword one. Whenever it decided to update around to that tick, it would tell me that the mob is dead, and I, so I would know to search for a new one. And I'm now tracking a chicken. So, also in the old version, you couldn't remove mobs from like targeting. Like let's say you were searching for a creeper because you wanted gunpowder, you couldn't remove all the chickens and pigs from a list. So what I've done is made it so that if you shift, left click with the compass, it will actually remove the mob that you were targeting from the list of targetable mobs, so you can no longer track this chicken. So I'll go ahead and show off, click it again. I'm just going to get rid of all the targets nearby, make so that I can't track any of them. As you can see, it's saying no nearby mobs are found, and clearly there are plenty of mobs around me. Alright, so to showcase that off, player tracker is the exact same as mob tracker just with players you know as you would imagine and now let's get to the exciting point in this uh story of mine and this is node tracker now i already have a few test waypoints that i've set up so if i do cp waypoint list i have test test one test three so let's go ahead and show off that if you left click with the waypoint compass it will cycle through the waypoints that you have so let's see, if we go over here, we know test is right here in this direction. We cycle again. The test over here should be right around here. All right, so let's talk about how you want to make a waypoint. There are two ways you can do it with the command, or you can do it with the interactive no command feature, which I, I mean, that's what that was one of my goals in this plugin, is making it so that you don't have to use commands if you don't want to. So... Let's go ahead and start with the command. If we wanted a new waypoint, we're just going to call this waypoint derp, because, you know, why not? We're going to do cp set, sorry, not set, new waypoint derp. Alright, so we just added derp to our waypoint list. 
So if we were to walk away and cycle through until we got there, it targets the derp. Now, what, I mean, if, if you get a list of like 10 waypoints, obviously you don't want to cycle through every time, and that is why I've made the option to do CP locate derp. And then it will automatically point towards that waypoint that you just named. Now, let's say that we have another one. So let's go create another one. So let's do CP new waypoint derp1. All right. So there's derp1. So you know, we got derp1, all the other good ones. But we don't know what differentiates derp1 and derp. So we've got to set info for them. So what we're going to do is do CP set info derp. This is the first ever derp. And then CP set info derp1. This is a phony derp. So now if we do CP waypoint list, list all our waypoints there. So let's do CP info derp. It'll tell you this is the first ever derp. CP info derp1. This is a phony derp. It helps you differentiate the two if you ever forget. And you can set info for things at any time you want. So let's uh, let's talk about the interactive way to do it. Go ahead and set it. Make it day again because I hate nighttime. So like I said, you don't have to use commands, and this is what I mean by that. If you want to, you can shift left click with the waypoint uh, mode on to start a waypoint creator. And what this will do is prompt you for the waypoint name and description, so it's almost easier than the command interface. So I can type in derp3, no spaces, it says it right there. Then type description, this is derp numero trace. CP waypoint list, CP. So we can do CP info derp3, this is numero trace. And then we can do CP locate derp3, and it will target the place that we just said is our last location. And, gosh, what else is new? I don't want to make this drag on too long. There's permission support. I need to get bucket permission support in. You can f configure the distance for things. And I'm completely open to suggestions. So if you have any more features you want to see, maybe new mode, sort of lay it out. And I would be happy to code it for you. But I'm too tired to go on. So hopefully that shows you that this plugin is a little bit more intricate than the last uh, Compassionate. So uh, thanks for watching, guys.